guys. Hey guys. Uh, I don't even know what today is. What day? Thursday. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. That's how you know. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> you don't even know the day of the week. Uh, you know what? I'm going to let TikTok in as well because I don't have a lot. It's a very like uh, light dinner for us tonight. We're just doing egg salad. We don't have any appetites. And it's not like I pigged out on uh, chips either. I just, uh, I did have like a breakfast, but <clears throat> it was more of like high protein. It was, it was, what was it? Eggs, beans, a little bit of corn, a little bit of sour cream. Um, and a couple, like a, a handful of tortilla chips. So it was a nice, it was a nice like Spanish, Spanish breakfast, I guess you would call it Santa Fe <laughs> breakfast. Hello Paisley, hello Abby. How are you guys doing tonight? Hello, Paisley. Hello, Abby. We're doing. Hello, I, I put egg salad in the in the title because we're both doing it. The only difference is Kat's doing hers on these low calorie the wraps. Fifty calorie wraps. Yeah, and then I'm going with straight up right, uh, white bread toasted. So I was thinking about doing burritos. I did. I did get a, a cheesesteak burrito. What's up, M? Yeah, eating the same again, but different bread and wrap exactly. <sighs> Hello, Al. <clears throat> Hello, Chrissy Power. Hey, Chrissy Power. I'm going to... Oh, girl. Also, listen. I haven't talked about this yet these last couple of days because it hasn't come up. But when it comes to my hearing, um, I stopped doing the drops because of uh, it was messing with me. And now I'm... It's it's bad. So drops are continuing for one week straight. And then I'm setting a, an appointment with the ET. Hello, Jared. Jo Hello, drops will continue for like two to three days, and then I will be calling the ENT for Jamie. Yeah. Because he's not waiting another week. No. No. Nope. I'm no. good. No. I'm... No. I'm gonna I'm gonna lay the smack down on Jamie and say, huh, you're going whether you like it or not. Yeah. Uh. Hello, Jared Shoulders. Vanessa, did I say hello? Jared Shoulders. <coughs> Sorry. It's weird because I, I don't I, I don't have the vertigo. The vertigo is not a bad. The vertigo is not back. It's just my hearing is very low. Yeah, well, you need to get that crap out of you. Do you have ketchup for those egg sandwiches? No, these are these are egg salad. Ketchup egg salad. might be good though. Hey, Maureen. Ketchup actually might be good. Yeah. What's up, Mimza? Am I saying that right? I don't think I've ever pronounced your name before. Hello, Jester. Yeah, I've never seen you. Hello, how are you, Mimzo? Yeah, Mims O. Hello, Shirley. Hello, monitor. Maureen. I didn't put the monitor. Yeah, it's monitor. like tilted. I could I see better that it. way. Hello, I John. Move you guys over. Frank's, Frank's red hot sauce on there would be. Mm, yeah, it probably would probably. be. It's kind of hard. The hot sauce makes everything better in my book, but. <laughs> Listen, Hello, Dana. Spicy food. Hi, Dana. Spicy food makes my. Uh, my uh my, 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 my butt hurt the next day so <laughs> i don't like to do spicy every day like my kid and khaki well i'm not having spicy but cheese. i think hot sauce would probably benefit these yeah hi mary mm -hmm. i think i think the the crispy white cheddar will go good with the egg salad okay. <clears throat> you guys are awesome you ever do dessert videos yeah i do it's not just not often did you say something yeah lucky's barking you didn't hear him upstairs no I think he's barking at. I don't know what the hell's going on with Lucky and Abby, but like, there's like some sort of like love thing going on there. Some beef going on. And Abby wants none of it. Did you? <laughs> but Lucky wants all of it. No, I haven't. I haven't found a job. I haven't found a job uh, yet. But I'm gonna take the first shitty job I could get this weekend, and then go from there. Build build myself all the way back up. Start from the very bottom. First shitty job comes my way. I'm taking it. Uh, oh, Mimso, you're new. Well, welcome. Welcome. Here in Texas, we put hot sauce on everything. Well, we usually put hot sauce on everything. There we go. Much better. I'll be able to read I'm better. the hot sauce queen. I put hot sauce on everything. <laughs> Happy thoughts. It works out, man. I appreciate it. It will work out. It will work out. It's just, you know what? February was a very bad month this year for me and Kaki. Um, yeah. March is going to be... Uh, a lot of grinding, but I'll pull out. Hey, Hello, Tricky Amanda. Mickey. Hello, Hello Adri. Tricky Mickey. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna work extremely hard in March to get us out of this predicament we're in. But I'm gonna do it. Like I'm gonna make it happen. I know you will. <sighs> Good outlook. Yeah, you have to. I mean, I can't just I can't look at everything. Hey, Bizzle. 
I can't look at everything. Like I know there's certain things I need to do and I'm planning on doing it. Uh, I can't look at my situation like I'm down for the three count. I'm gonna get up, there'll be around 14. You know, I'm not worried about that. It's just, it's gonna suck for a little bit. <laughs> what kind of drink is the one you're always having in your videos? The red one, it's homemade fruit punch. What's up, John? And for you guys that don't know, if you don't watch my TikToks or anything, our, we, our car is officially like, it's, it's gonna take a miracle or a lot of money to get it back to life. So I think we're going to see what it is, how much we're looking at tomorrow and to see if it's even worth it. <laughs> if not, guess who's starting to take the bus, baby? Or that one might be my new running, my new, my new running plan. Run to work, run home from work. Get something somewhat local. We well, used to bike to work. Yeah, but I now I run. I haven't biked in years. Mm. In years. I'm praying your unemployment kicks in. I haven't heard anything back from yeah. it. Yeah. Nothing yet. Hello, Hello Amanda. Penny. <coughs> How you guys just love you guys. Have you tried the, the post, post office? office? No. Nope. I know you'll pull through it. Yes, I will. Hello, Mandy. Happy Hello, Thursday. Mandy. What happened to the car? So we are not car people, but uh, it wouldn't start twice today um, going to pick up our, our kid from school and then going to the grocery store. Then on the way home, it was it, it was basically It was smoking. literally smoking. Yeah, really bad smell coming from it. Hello, Courtney. <laughs> it smells so bad. We were sending smoke signals, no joke. Yeah. There was definitely smoke signals we're, being sent. We're at a red light. And Kaki's like, oh my god, it's smoking now. You're eating gold for dinner tonight. I'm eating, yeah, it looks cool. Oh, yeah, the eggs. Egg no. salad. Well, no, eggs are literally like gold now because they're so expensive. But when you buy them at Costco and you get two dozen for five dollars, they're really not gold. <laughs> so if you yeah. buy them at Stop and Shop, sure, yeah, then they're freaking gold. That's the deal with the that's the deal with the car situation. So my plan tomorrow. It, this weekend in general is try to get something relatively close so it's not and it, um, not a permanent situation either they just get a job to get money to get the car situation f figured out and then go from there baby steps which is I'm, I'm always talking about and I'm actually very I know I, I, I seem down and I am but I'm excited I'm extremely excited for this next chapter which is going to require a lot from me i'm very excited because it's going to be like take the first shit job you get save up the money get the car fixed when the car is fixed get a better job by the time the better job comes put that money aside and then down the floor we go costco usually pays good and some are union mm -hmm. yeah i'm gonna look into costco i'm gonna look into a bj's um i'd be lying to you if i told you i wasn't thinking about flipping burgers or possibly be doing like a pizza man thing. I'm 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 not saying no to anything. <clears throat> I plan on asking for more hours at work, to be honest. Uh Jamie, consider leasing for a car. You need credit for that, Amanda, which we do got. These days with the cost of repairs, it's almost a better option. Can't escape death, taxes, and a car payment. True. Yeah. Things will get better. I believe they will, Steve Russo. Thank you, brother. Um, I also have egg salad. Tricky Mickey. Egg salad and a uh, wrap. I need to post the resume. I don't even have a resume. I've never had that. I've never had like a long list of great jobs. Like this last job that I <laughs> that I lost was probably the best job I ever had. I'm, li I'm, li I'm, li I'm, li I'm looking into buying a cheaper car outright. Doing it right. There you go. Pizza again. Does this look like pizza, pizza. or does this look like egg salad? Hello, Nelson. Oh, so if, like, listen, I wish there was pizza tonight. There'll be pizza tomorrow night. And then it's going to be slim pickings. Strong believe in everything happens, happens for, for a reason. reason. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's, you know, cards are down right now, but bet, you bet your ass I'm going to pull a whatever the, the winning. If Jimmy Jam was in here, he would know. What's the winning card you get that you, that you like, you like, you think you're out and then boom. <laughs> Ace of Diamonds, or whatever it is. It depends on your hand. Yeah, well, a good card. Good hand. Hi, Margaret. Yeah, you have to help me with the resume. Um, 
I don't actually know how to do a resume, but I know somebody that does. So my, my dad does. I have um, a sister-in-law. She will help you. Uh, she already offered that. Yeah. So, like I said, it's like you know, it's just it's a it, 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 you know when you think it sucks, it's there's it's, <laughs> there's always ways for it to suck even more. Did they actually repo your vehicle? No, I'm like Steve. No, repo. Like, no, no, no. No, our vehicle went up in smoke. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally went up in smoke. And uh, we have to laugh about it because otherwise I'm going to cry about it. I don't want to cry about it because yeah. crying ain't going to fix it. Um, why did you get fired? If I had to give you one reason without getting complicated, because I wasn't dressed up the proper way. So it's a, it's like a very, it's a very foggy way it happened. Almost like it was, it was, mm. it was Thank an inside you, job. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Margaret. Things could always be worse. You are 100% correct. Home, but I'm afraid that would be worse for you. What, putting the show on hold? Paisley, I might not have a choice but to put the show on, like, take a small hiatus because and I've told you guys this so many times and a lot of you guys saw the video that it, my mouth. it takes a lot to go into this show, right? Um, and I don't... I mean, when I put the show on hold, I mean the show. I'm going to try and stay as active as possible doing this, you know, talking with you guys, whether it's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I'm just letting you guys know how things are, how things are going and, you know, uh, document the comeback, so they say. Oh, thank you, Noreen. But, like, the show show where you get the lights and the big crazy dinners, that is what I mean about being put on hold. It might be some stuff at the cookie corner, excuse me. I do not make cooking videos. Mm, how about some sponsors? Nobody. I've been doing this for five years, and I've had one company reach out for me. Hello, much love from Pittsburgh. Hello, barefoot triangles. So I don't think there's any interest. What's up, Mr. John Anderson? Hey, we'll watch if it's just cheese and crackers. I appreciate that, brother. And I know some of you guys will just hang out, whether it's a, if it's a sandwich or some chips. Like I said, I don't want to disappear. I don't want to become a ghost, but... When I say the show, I mean the show, the show. Cooking on a budget is always relatable hit. Why well, we already do that. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Tricky Mickey. I appreciate that. Thank you, girl. I saw your video when you brought everything up from the basement. I never knew you set up every night. That's a lot. Yes, it is. And I wanted to share that. I wanted to show you guys what it is I do. We do every night. Damn it. I just love your guys' company, and that makes us feel really good. And trust me, my cookie corner is very cozy. It's still a very cozy atmosphere. It's just going to be a little tight. <laughs> like you guys see on TikTok, the tight squeeze, that's how YouTube, you guys are going to see it as yeah. well. TikTok battles, I don't even know what that is. What's up, Matt? I like your headband very nice. Thank you, Maureen. This is my favorite one. Of all the headbands I've done, this is my favorite one. This is the first headband I actually made that I truly fell in love with. I probably have worn this headband more than any other headband I have. Yeah. I think so. Give me rich pian piano vibes. Oh, the body bodybuilder? Yeah, he's a beast. He's a beast. Your munchkin is here. <laughs> Yeah, I do, Steve. I do. It's on my Instagram. But I purposely made that video tonight, hoping that like another company might see it and then might take a look at my page and like say, like, oh, this guy is pretty damn creative and he's consistent and he's committed to doing this. And oh, it thank you, Pauline. And it doesn't seem like his ideas run dry. That was my hope with, you know, and plus I wanted to keep you guys updated when this weekend there kind of is a little bit of a shift in my videos. Aw, thank you, Mandy. Yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you, Mandy. Um, I would never wear a headband. <laughs> I will never wear a headband. Pat Cooney? I don't think I would look right in one. <laughs> I could go get one right now. We could take a look. I'll, put, I'll hold your hair up in a bun and you can put it on. Do you want to give it a no. shot? I'll no. Take you, I'll take the Macho mm -hmm. Man one off and you can wear it. No, thank you. <laughs> Yes, Jamie, keep speaking it. I'm going to try. Do security work. I'm going to look into it. I used to be a security Come on, guard. Megan. <laughs> yeah, you were a security guard back in the day. Oh, my goodness. Kaki was so mad because I was... This is back like when me becoming a bum first started. Because I was one, and I've talked about it many times. Kaki threatened to leave me. She's like, if you don't get a job, 
because I was it was that bad. If she's like, if you don't get a job, I'm moving back home. And I got up that next morning, took my security test, got the job, and then my first week's paycheck was more than Khaki's paycheck. And she was like, and you play Xbox and watch movies all night. Yeah. She goes, what kind of... And I was of- actually doing, like, physical labor. And he sits there just, you know... How much you sell the headbands for? Pressing a button on a gate to let people in. I, I sell them for 25 but I, at this point, I mean, I've kind of gotten the hint that... As much as I wear them, a lot of people don't want them. So yes, like, I'll Steve, probably the work same. with the price at this point. Yeah, my IG is the same. Mm-hmm. Allied same Universal pays me twenty one for a camera. What is what is that? Jamie, you better ready ready be blah, blah, blah. Jamie, you better ready to be open a can of whoop ass when we need to. On who, Munchkin? I'm not a fighter. Uh, hey, Jamie, I smoke meats. What's a good way to start influencing my Traeger skills? I don't... I'm not a smoker, man. Chris, I, I don't know. My dad probably could, could t- to tell you more about that kind of stuff. But oh, I don't, yeah. He smokes meat all the time. Hey, guys. Question. Does vaping affect your lungs at all when you run or anything? Just wondering. So, for me... Um, and I do do that. It does. I have. There's no effect for me. I, and I could run. You know, I ran 10 miles last night. I've run 20 miles before. I haven't smoked a cigarette in over 10 years. So, you know, I don't promote vaping, but at the same time, my vaping helped me quit smoking. Uh, for working. In, oh, for twenty dollars, twenty-one dollars for working in a camera room. I wonder if. I wonder, I see, I never thought about actually going to like a place that does media. I never thought about that. 9.9? Haven't even tried it yet. I'm talking to you guys about whatever. Hello, Skadoosher. It's on the menu tonight, egg salad. You are awesome. I appreciate that. There was a home and gas tank. Did Cortland leave us? Cortland, did you leave us? Or you just are you are you? Because I, I I know you were in here very before. I hope you were uh, still hanging know. around at least yes, listening with speaking. us. Oh my god, all over the parking lot, and that sucks. I had a question for you, and I was gonna message you, but I'm like, I'll just wait to the live. If he pops in, I'll ask him. Why do you set all the stuff up if we can't see most of it? Well, YouTube has a bigger camera. Plus the TikTok videos, you guys see everything. Sorry, Sorry I had to dry off. off. I was in the shower. No problem. Cortland, let me ask you a question. If I was interested, and I'm asking you because you're a chef. Abby, you could answer this question too if you're still in here. If I have no culinary experience professionally and I go to a restaurant, are there restaurants that would possibly hire me? for creations and I show them what it what it is I do and I show them my videos like if I were to show them and be honest with them and tell them like listen I'm not a chef but I could throw it down in the kitchen are there are there restaurants that would actually pay someone to basically with no experience to show them their meals yes indeed it's better than you don't have experience absolutely because I think call me crazy call me a crazy man and I was talking to Kat about this before. I was thinking about possibly taking the little we have left and betting it all on myself and going into New York City on Saturday. And then just not taking no for an answer. And if I have to take the train back <laughs> with empty pockets and a sad face, I get a job doing whatever. I think that's a wise decision. Bet it all on me. Kaga doesn't think so. I said, and I get it. I get why. <laughs> Smaller reasons. Corin said no. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to do it, but it was an idea. You would need to get a kitchen, I'm pretty sure, uh, a kitchen certificate. Jamie, to- we need to talk about that, but I guarantee you somebody will take you. What did he say? The very end? Someone will take you? He yeah. said, Jamie, we need to talk about that, but I guarantee <sighs> someone will take you. Now you're a pastry chef? Very nice. Put your Nikes on and just do it. <laughs> I'll put my Brooks on and just do it. Not in New York City, better in outlying area. 
egg salad tonight, guys. Anybody that's just joining us and is wondering what we're doing for dinner, egg salad. Hello, Jay Gunther. Personal trainer. I would love to do that. You agree with me, Paisley? Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree with Kaki too. It was just an idea. It was like it was a brainstorming thing. When when something happens, you kind of just you rack your brain and you think of anything. Uh, I'm embarrassed to tell you this, but there was a time in my life way before we had kids when I was a lot younger. I thought, and I've said this story before, I had the idea of being able to make good money actually just collecting cans and recycling. I had it all mapped out on a piece of paper. Mm -hmm. It didn't work, and everybody told me it didn't work, but I tried. It was an idea. I was desperate. I gave it a shot. What's up, Tim? <laughs> yes, you did. Hello, Tim. Oh, uh, how's your cholesterol? A-OK. -okay. I have to say, everyone has a thing about... Kaki, can you record? Yeah, everyone has a thing about being a chef or a cook. Just be passionate and no ego. I would want to. Sh I would want to hopefully have like a, a, an actual chef want to do my meals. That's what I was thinking. I love every day. I get to see a new creation of food. Keep on cooking. Thank you, Dan. Everyone is gonna miss your lives. Well, the, for those of you guys that that join us and stuff, like I said, I'm. I said this before. There's gonna be something. It's just not gonna be what it usually is. Someone left a comment and said, you belong in WWE, and I replied back with, WWE doesn't want me, so then they tagged AEW. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're a trailer park cook? Um, oh. A trailer park cook. I'll take it. I cook, you know? You can totally be macho man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you give me a job? Can you imagine me being the macho man impersonator, like the guy in New York City that the naked cowboy, or the fake Spider Man? Come take a picture. Uh huh. Yeah. All over again. Right, stand right in front of that. Standing right in front of Madison Square Garden. Take a picture with the macho king. Uh huh. Uh, crazy kind of food, even food trucks. You're so creative, and some restaurants are st are staunchy. I never told my parents I had a job in college to, to replace, replace the, the gas tank. tank. I read that whole story, and that's hilarious. Well, it's not hilarious, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Not let your parents know that you freaking blew up the gas tank. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Egg so salad tacos sandwich. as macho meat. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Tacos as macho meat. Egg salad sandwiches. Kaki made the egg salad. All I did was fry the cheese and, and put the lettuce and tomato on it, baby. Here we go. One to ten. I've been eating mine this whole time. I think it's good. But you put cheese mm. on yours. It's really good. Well, I'm sure yours is better than mine. You could try it. You could try it. Uh, 9.3. Make a book. Maybe make a cookbook. Maybe. Yeah. So you're changing the show time? Uh, Tracy don't know 100% yet what's going on. I'll, I'll keep you guys updated when we know everything. Yeah, once we figure it oh, out. Thank you, Pauline. Know. Just message you on Instagram. I'll be checking messages and emails. I've been getting a lot of them um, the last like three days. I try it 9.2. Listen, Kaki makes the best egg salad in the world. And if I ever finally do commit 100% into the cookbook thing, and her egg salad, badass egg salad, her egg salad will so be myself. in it. Love your content, man. Thank you very much. I tried 9.2. I give this, let me get one more bite of it. It's definitely in the nines. Well, 9.6, easy. The best egg salad. Ugh. Secret? K? Question mark. Her egg salad? And then house arrest. No. <laughs> not house arrest. House arrest. Uh, um, Paisley, considering it, it's probably going to be a recipe, I really can't tell you what I put in here. A treadmill jogging as effective as outdoor jogging? I think outdoor jogging is better because something about the fresh air. Whether it's really cold or really hot, 
I, 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 I've done the treadmill in the past, and I love being outside. Hey, look, what's up, Kenny? Even if it's freezing cold, you don't even eat eggs. So the like fresh eat air out. does something to you. Yeah, my mouth, this is delicious. So if I ever come to meet you, I will make you some egg salad. Yeah. And you'll love it. You will. Uh -huh. I promise you you'll love it. Not if you're in Ohio. Why? What's wrong with Ohio? I like it hot. If that's what you're about to get at. No. I don't think that's what they were talking about. You taking a break, Jamie? Um, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I might have to change things up a little bit. <laughs> He must have eggs out, but pizza won. Yeah, pizza usually wins. I get that. Pizza usually wins. Jamie, if you had a dollar for everyone that asked if you were on house arrest. Mm -hmm. if, if I had a dollar every time someone asked me if I was on house arrest, um, yeah, I wouldn't be I would be crying about not having a job or a car. I think I'd be No, all right. I think we would have more than one car at this point. Yeah. <laughs> We'd have a few. Fuck, if I had 50 cents every time I, someone asked me about my juice, I'd be even better shape. True story. Oh, Chulula hot sauce. I love Chulula. Nora, <laughs> if Jamie had, if, 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 if the Jamie and Kagi show had a little jar, and every time someone asked about the juice or the mug, put a quarter in. You put money in there. I'd oh be God. good. Forget it. I mean, how long has the double mug been a thing with me? A couple years now? The house rest comment always cracks me up. I laugh every time. Yeah, that's why I style my <laughs> my fake my fake monitor. Well, the standing on the chair a lot, yeah, but not as much. Selling the double mug with your face on it. Definitely try Costco, Walmart, or anywhere has. Oh, and wow, this is so good. I think you should try mine. For security, usually security places, um, they're hired by Walmart or Costco. Yeah, well, you so... You have to work for, like, that specific security company to be hired and placed in those locations. I could tell you this. I worked for a company. They, they, their name was... Oh, my gosh. Um, Arrow Security. Mm -hmm. And I had um, three different gigs, right? One, I was in a warehouse and I just had to make sure that, you know, when the ladies and gentlemen are, are leaving, make sure they weren't taking anything. So oh, they had like seen, it's like a perfume place. Yeah. Kaki used to bring me Taco Bell there. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, that was did. one gig. Another gig was me driving the little car around apartment complexes. And I would do that from like nine o'clock to six in the morning. And then my favorite gig was the booth, where I press the button and the and the, and the gate goes up, and then yeah, I press and a the complex. <laughs> and a complex, yeah, that was cool. I used to bring a TV, a VCR, an Xbox, food. There was literally like a whole setup in like the back seat of my car. It was like a TV, yeah. a VCR, an Xbox, a microwave at one point. A microwave. And like he would literally set it up in like his little booth. I'm gonna look into that, M. Uh huh. I'm gonna look into Costco. <laughs> you should look into Costco. Yeah, that was a, that was already I was already a plan. You already I, know how like you use like a freaking high low, so. I'm not high low certified, but I know how to use one. Well, those certify you. You're Italian. You'll you'll rise, rise to the, to the top. top. <laughs> I'll get there. It's just this is just a detour, and and like, like I'm sad. Don't get me wrong, but I'm also very driven. I'm very motivated, and you could only and this goes for anybody. You could only sit and cry by yourself, and 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 hate what you're going through and feel bad for yourself so much before you finally say, "Gloves are off. Oh, I can't. I can't do this no more." Yeah, thank you very much. You know something has to happen, and that's. That's my game plan. When I tell you I'm taking the first crappy job this weekend, I mean it. And then when I find a better one, I'll get a better one. And it's like the, the pegs. Go up, 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 up. Works. Baby steps. Would you ever do grocery shopping trip? I'm so interested in... in... Oh, so like you're looking into like... Um... 
like a shift or in like an Instacart type of thing. So where you go grocery shopping for somebody and like you deliver it. That's what they're talking about. Do you know anything about windows? I know about window shopping. Is that what it's called? Where you look in the windows and you want something, but you don't got money to buy it? I know about that, Tim. <laughs> you can't um. come home for a little while. Is that what it's called? Work window for shopping? me in a little, for a little while here in Maryland. Oh, I think oh, I appreciate that. Oh, so you have that. like your own window company. That's awesome. Yeah, we're in New York. <laughs> At least I can make some of you guys laugh. You know what that feeling is? Going in the <laughs> mall and you're looking, in, you're looking in the display case and you see something you really want and you know you don't got the money for it and you're just like, oh, I really want that window shopping. <laughs> we used to do it all the time when I was little. Well, hello, John, on the flip side. What's up, John? Start a brand new store. I wish we had money to do that. I don't. hate to say this, we might don't. need a job and a half in order to get enough money to get back on your feet. It's going to take a lot, and I know that. Which is why I think I'm I'm going to ask for extra hours at work. I know it's going to take a lot. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, and I'm not saying and and I'm not saying a shitty job is going to get me there. But a shitty job is going to get me to another hey, job. Get down. That might be a little ah, bit better. Get down right now. And then the next job will get me right to down. another job. You know, there. I'm good at. I'm good at wanting to, win. <coughs> and I'm. I'm very good. Whenever at, Jamie says when, he's gonna make something happen, he makes it happen. Yeah. Every um, time. Sometimes it just takes a little bit longer than usual. Uh, you have the heart to make it, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna do something. <coughs> Did FedEx give you a severance? Nope. I could, um, could you get unemployment? I filed for it. I, I haven't got still it. Still waiting in the still haven't had anything. It but I don't want to have to rely on unemployment. Like, I'm not that, I, I, you know, I get it. People have to do it. But I want to work. I don't like not having anything to do during the day. Uh, hello, Coach Brink. Hello. hello. I say go into coaching, but, you know, I'm a coach. I would love to coach. I would love to coach. I wish people would take me more seriously, and I get why they don't. Um, we're not going to do a GoFundMe. We won't do that. Yeah, no. I'm no. not. No. We no. will not do that. The whole the whole purpose of tonight's video was hopefully because I know I have other I have bigger accounts that look at me, right? Hello, fashion Benson. The 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 idea behind that was to like, you know what? If you're thinking about pulling the trigger and taking a chance on me. Um, I could use you more now than ever. Like, um, I, I could only ask, right? And I kind of looked at tonight's um, running video as almost like a job interview, like my resume. Like, I'm fucking, de I'm dedicated, I'm consistent, I'm a hard worker. I've got a brain like nobody else, you know? Uh, I'm creative. Hopefully, I <clears throat> hopefully, some somebody will will, uh, will see it and reach out and say like, he, he's he, he's. He's got something. Don't know what it is. He's got something. What's up, OC? Hello, oh, so Stan. <sighs> I started coaching high school track and now in adults. That's awesome. Yeah, I would love. Man, I would. I would love to do that. I really would. I wish I would have. I wish I would have known back when I was in school that this was that was the route I would would wind up falling in love with. Yeah, you said that to me. Like, when our son was doing wrestling, and like, I wish I would have known yep. this was possible. No one told me. Doing that in school. Uh, what worked for me was starting in a temp age agency. Mm. Oh, what's for dinner? Uh, egg salad. Egg salad. Coach Brent, you probably love going to your job every day, don't you? You lived here in Austin. I'd hire you as a plain clothes bodyguard, or like undercover. I would do that. I would. I would definitely do that. I would start tomorrow. Friends only with those. No olives. No pickles. I got a job for you. Not sure what state you're in. Can you finish that for me? Hold on. 
I'm looking for it. Where did you see that? I'm not sure what state you're in. It's right above Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Oh, not sure what state. Yeah, big mid. Always need good people. We're from New York. Yeah, we're in New York. Steve Russo said thirty-five per hour. Thirty-five per per hour for what, Steve? Hey, maybe you're in New York. You have creativity and charisma. Eventually, you'll have your own business or brand. I hope so. Hmm. That's what, that's what, like, the end game is, I think. 15 degrees cold as F. Yeah. 15, it was so warm today. It was very nice today. <laughs> For February, anyway, it's, like, warm. It was, like, almost 50-something degrees today. So it was kind of warm. Oh, Stacy's a domestic. Oh. I do. I run and work out with our student-athletes. Yeah. I'm jealous of that one. You know what? And I know it takes a lot. And you got to go to school for it. But to be like a personal trainer and be like an online um, nutritionist, because I know my meals are, they look like a lot of people say heart attack and diabetes and all that stuff. But shit, I can make, I can make them the healthier side. I've done it before. And I, I went from 300 pounds to 167. So it's like, I know what I do. You guys see the crazy concoction because it just what... It's what gets the attention. That's what people like to see. If it was up to me, and I swear to you, I would have no problem doing the chicken and rice and the protein shakes. I would. I love doing that. That's a side that, you, by just looking at one of my videos, you would never think that. <clears throat> mm, I own a private detective agency. If only you lived here, yeah. Oh, a private detective agency. That's pretty cool. Steve, that's pretty freaking cool. Hello, Lily Let me Lou. tell you something. I like to research people. <laughs> What's up, Pope? So I think that would be a pretty good job for me. I think so, Pete. What's up, Fasting Bastard? I didn't see you in there. Are you looking for any type of work, Jamie? This weekend, I'm going to take the first job that, that says yes to me and then go from there. You too, OC. <laughs> yeah. You could be a substitute teacher. I They're like always awesome. Up. I don't even have a, a high school <laughs> diploma. So teaching-wise, anything is, you know, I'm, no school is going to hire me. Started with volunteering with coaching at the high school and worked my way up. Yep. <laughs> Women That's are awesome. great detectives. Yes, we are. Uh -huh. Drop some links out on there. Did you let the dog out or no? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? He was just sitting there. He wasn't looking at me yet. He goes out there, I swear to get his nuts cool. He literally just sits on the cold ass brick. <sighs> Why did you lose your job? Uh, in a nutshell, for not being dressed the, pop, the proper way. Not being dressed the FedEx way. I think it was an inside job. I'll be honest with you, I think it was a setup. I would hope not, but. I don't know. The more I think about mm -hmm. it, the more it just makes sense. It came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere. Jamie literally does nothing wrong at work. Mm-hmm. Oh and honestly, um, I, I have to agree with him. I do. I agree with you. I think it was a bunch of BS. I think there more could have been done. And they were just looking to be like, let's be just yeah. cut our losses here and just say, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, and plus, you know what? And my bosses, here's what I'll say. They know I wasn't. They know I wasn't staying there forever. They know about what we do, and they know that we're moving to Florida. So if business, let's just say it was an inside thing, which it, maybe it wasn't, but. The it's way it all know. happened so quick, it kind of feels like it was. It definitely was. Um, um, they know I was, if, if, and business has been slow, so it's like, he's going to be leaving. Why not? It's not like he's, you know, I don't think, and, and they don't know, but I don't think they know how bad I'm struggling right now, but because I don't think it was like out of hatred. I had a good relationship with those guys. Where in Florida are you guys moving to? Orlando area? Yeah, somewhere around there. Are you buying any airports? Um, somewhat, yeah. Jamie, you're an inspiration, man. Thank you. 
Don't they, they have to give you a warning first? Well, they told me don't come in the next day. <laughs> they told me... Once they said that to him, I was just like, oh no. That's not good. That means... I was like, I think you're going to get fired. Everybody was shocked when it actually happened. Because I, it's not I like, actually wasn't. I had a feeling that was going to happen. It's not like I was... It's not like I hated my job. I didn't hate my job. I liked it. My dad knew I liked it. Were you dressed? Because... <clears throat> At least you didn't get fired on your day off. I did. did. I was told, well, to, stay told home. to stay home. I was told to stay home the next day. And then I ran into my boss at the gym. And then he said, it's not looking good. I said, okay, well, I don't want to bother you during your workout. I said, give me a call when you wrap things up. And he called me three hours later because he didn't want to, he didn't want to make the phone call. And then it happened. So yes, I was told to stay home, but I was, it was my day off. God, Craig, how the fuck you get fired on your day off? <laughs> At least I didn't say I had me on the camera stealing boxes. At least that was, you At least know. you weren't stealing packages. Because then you could have, you know, been prosecuted. For that. Yeah. But, you know. Craig, here's your good friend. That reminds me of, yeah. Hello, Jimmy. crazy. Hello, Allison. I think I'm leaving mine. Small world. Where are you going, Pete? What are you thinking about? Hey, doing? Johnny boy. What's up, Johnny boy? Pete, this is not the first time you thought about leaving. You did leave before, and then they, they lowered you back in. What are you thinking about doing now? Uh, so what's the other side of the story? What, my side? I, I, there's one side of the story. and that's There the, is only one side of the story. It's legit. I got called. I got assigned a brand new pickup um, that was on the other side of my route. And with with FedEx, you have timed pickups. You have to be there by certain times. All my places are over here. This new pickup is over here. In between is a school, doctor's offices, a whole bunch of shit, traffic, right? Um, I had no choice but to do this one earlier. It was either do this one earlier or do this one the very last and then hit traffic going there and then hit more traffic on the way back. So the guy that used to be very cool to me because he wasn't a pickup, he was just, an, uh, he was regular delivery, was always nice to me, gave me a hundred bucks for Christmas every year. And then out of nowhere, when I tell you light switch on and off changed, total jackass to me. And, um, and he's an alcoholic, called me up twice. And the, and the, and the, the last day before I was told to stay home, he was uh, drunk as anything and yelling and cursing at me. I stayed professional, even, even though like, I wanted to flip a lid, but I didn't. I called, I You're texted my bosses ex it, as soon as it happened. And then the one thing they got me with was like, well, he says he has you on camera looking like, yeah, he said like dirty or unprofessional, which was because I had Crocs on. Yeah, his rights were definitely violated. 100% user, 100%. Yeah, I probably, but aren't you an alcoholic? No, Rob, I'm not. I used to be an alcoholic. I don't drink at all anymore. Pal. Crazy, how did I know that was you before even looking at your name? Jackie, when you making tacos? I make tacos all the time, crazy. I drink fucking fruit punch on here. I don't, I don't even... <sighs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, he's not I'm an alcoholic. There. I don't even drink anything anymore. <laughs> he's drunk on fruit punch, guys. Lock him up. You posted from last month. You drinking a Bud Light? Nope. Check the video again. Look, Not from last month. Look, the last time that you see a beer in any of my videos, it's been a while. I haven't, I haven't had alcohol. I don't drink it no it's more. It's been months. And not because I had a problem this last time. I stopped drinking alcohol altogether because I, it was doing me no good. <sighs> you don't even a little wine? Oh no, I'm the wine person. Kaki drinks wine. I don't drink anything. I got the wine. Hey, get that motherfucker out of here. He can mm -hmm. get it out. Yeah, anybody can do it. I don't think that character belongs. Yeah, you can, yeah guys, you can get rid of don't him. Don't worry, I'm looking for him. His name is Rob. Rob Frizzle. Mm, not for nothing, but if he was, 
What's the difference? Does it make? Yeah. And I, like I said, I have nothing against people that do drink. I have nothing against it. I don't like the way it makes me feel. And guess what? Unfortunately, I've had some bad run-ins with alcoholics. Bye, Rob. Your dog is cute, though, but bye. Uh, uh, well spoken. Yeah. Jamie, did yeah, you try Rob's UPS? Rob's definitely angry at himself. Rob looks like he's hungry. Okay, let's not make fun of Rob. He's gone. Leave him alone. <laughs> uh, Jamie, did you try UPS? I did. They're not hiring. Hear me. What did you do to get off of alcohol? I weaned myself off by drinking um, seltzers. I used to do like six of those toll boys a night. And once I started to lose weight, like I knew, I knew um, the, alcohol had ha the alcohol had to go. And because I had really bad anxiety, I was self-medicating myself with beer. And I weaned myself off. So I started out with six, and then I went to five, and then four, and then three, and then two. And then I did one for not too long before. I'm like, this is not even worth it. So I just switched the seltzers. And I always told myself, I don't want to be that guy that can't have a couple cocktails around family or friends or gatherings, right? So I started drinking a little bit for special occasions. And then the little bit turned into on the weekends. And then I just didn't want to do it no more. I just, this last time I quit cold turkey because I didn't need it. I wasn't drinking a lot anyway. You didn't let Lucky in, right? Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Okay. Yep. Uh, six, I could barely finish two. Well, when I was, when I, I was 300 pounds, I was a big boy, so I could drink. Now, forget about it. I'm, I can't hold my, my <laughs> I can't hold anything. <laughs> The last time we went to the city, he was just like, I don't feel good right now. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll be honest with you. He was like, I don't feel good right now. Yeah. This is a long time ago. Yeah, and I still, like I said, I have nothing against it. Uh, you know, when me and Kat go back to the city, I'm sure I'll have a couple of cocktails. But that's it. Like, I'm not crazy over it. When it rains, it pours. Yeah, thanks, Rightful Justice. What's FBO jobs are easy to transfer in? Could, could start now. I don't even know. I'm going to look into it. I'm going to look into a couple of things tonight. <sighs> Good job, bro. That's awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Last bite. I'm going to drink some punch, and then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, have you applied to any companies in Florida? No. No, mm -hmm. not yet. It would be stupid for me to just go down there. I don't have anything. Not even a car. So it's like, not a smart decision, mm -hmm. not a responsible adult decision for being like a, a mom and a dad. Yeah, can't really do that. So, so you do a couple side hustles, like reselling? I'm going to do what Re I can. Reselling what? Rightful news. What happened to your vehicle? It went up in smoke. Literally. Literally. Literally, something something is is really wrong. We knew, <clears throat> we knew it was gonna take a lot of money to fix it up, but the battery uh, just kept on dying on us. And the guy that we that told us when we got when we took the car in a couple weeks ago, he's like, it's gonna be a lot to fix, a couple thousand. He's like, let's just try this first. He's like, I don't want to overcharge you. Yeah, and so, do all this stuff to it and charge you all this money. He's like, let's just try this and see where it goes. And it worked for a little bit. For a couple, for a couple, like a couple it weeks. It worked for like a couple weeks, and then. And now it just keeps on. Uh, now it's just like. Not stopping and starting, and yeah. then it's not holding a charge, and it was smoking. The last time we drove it tonight, it was started started smoking. So. All right, you ready for bed? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, what about construction? We'll see. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna be looking like man, man this weekend. Yep. Good night, guys. Have a good night, guys. All right. Good night, good night. <laughs>